Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on tonight's episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. I know some of you are going to be like, no, but you know, we got a new update, guys. Early access update version 0.6.5. And from what I've been told by some of you out there, they have made some changes to it, big changes, that you're probably not going to get to see in your playthrough unless you start over. So uh, that is kind of what we're going to be doing. Not kind of, that's that exactly what we're going to be doing. I do apologize to those of you out there who are like, you just finally got everything. Uh, we we still missing a few pieces on my last playthrough, but uh, we did get pretty far. But I want to see what else they've added. And it's kind of one of those things when we play this game, you're going to have to restart. You're going to have to kind of get used to that. It's not a fantastic thing when it happens because there's always something more you want to do. But the beauty behind it is with the new things they've added, we can go then and maybe try to go down a different path that we haven't gone before. And I, I think it's been working. I think we've gone down like the small path of, of bots versus medium versus large. Uh, I think we're going to concentrate this time more on the venture bots than anything else. But let me go ahead and read what we've done over here or what they've done to the game. It says new update available, more tweaks and improvements to the HUD along with more important bug fixes. And then of course it has a little link right there if you want to see the full extent of what they've added to the game. They also have a YouTuber of the week, uh, Atari Kafa, and you guys can go check him out as well. I do appreciate anytime you guys, you know, go check out these guys that are on here, YouTuber of the week. It's a, it's a pretty big thing. I've never been on there myself, but uh, if I ever did, that would be a pretty big accomplishment. So I'm pretty sure it's the same way for them. And, you know, it would just, you know, probably mean a whole lot to them. So go check them out. We're going to come in here. We're going to create new game. We're going to go into campaign mode. And, of course, you can see the seed right here. Now, remember, when you pick that seed, if you want to type in, go ahead and pause this, the image there on the screen and write that down and put it there into your game. That will load you in. Oh, it's even kind of a little different here, the little box down on the bottom. Attention, payload failure on survey mission Alpha 748005. Crash landing imminent. Initiate emergency salvage protocol. Brace, brace, brace. That's, that's the same, same text that they've had for a little while, but I do like how it kind of uh, fits in with the game. And then of course you start guys, you start with your main cab already damaged. And you can see the streaks of smoke in the background there. And those streaks of smoke are pieces of your bot that came down with you that were just that, you know, in the spaceship or whatever it was that kind of crashed, uh, they, they separated. So you can see them in the distance and then you can drive out there and go get them. Uh, okay, so it says drag a standard block to the cab using left mouse button. We're gonna go through the whole, you know, tutorial and I'll explain some things as we go through through it uh, but I'm not going to go into too much detail on a lot of this stuff because we've already done that a lot of times but uh, if you're kind of interested in some of that stuff you're more than welcome to go back and watch some of those tutorial videos so we got the wheels on there and the wheels actually do look a little different they look uh I don't know if I like it more I, I think they look a little bit more uh I wouldn't say cartoony but very one color like it used to have a lot more shades in here so maybe they're going with a different texture packet or maybe i just never really noticed it too too much before but i thought they had a little bit more shading on the wheels to kind of break it up and make it look like there was actual tread there uh, but maybe the, they're saying that these are the smaller wheels maybe they don't have any tread and that's why they're not the greatest ones to have in the game as you get bigger and better wheels maybe they have a little bit more texture to it uh, you reassembled your basic tech now tap the b button to release the build beam uh, check your systems, use the WASD key, and of course it doesn't have my fire button, so I'm going to have to come in here to the controls. You can change this to whatever you want. It does have a weird little glitch where it does not want to save at least uh, the button that I use, which is insert, uh, on my fire button. It just it makes me come back in here all the time. So just be ready for that if you ever get back in and some of your buttons aren't working. Okay, now hold the weapons button. Hold space to fire your gun. Uh, it does not like... The, the button that I chose, so let's go ahead and hit the space bar. Did that fix it? Yep, that fixed it. Okay, now hold up. Something's coming in the nearby, la or landing nearby. Stay alert. That's going to be an enemy right there, Big Tony. And this is the best thing you can do right here. If you can get him while he's on the ground. Uh, no, you don't want to destroy the blocks. You want to keep those. So let's see if we can get into the front. It's going to take us some damage. Oh, there he is. He's flashing. He's going to explode. And there goes the pieces. Now, depending on how big the explosion is going to be is kind of dependent on two different factors one what weapons are you using to attack them with bigger the weapon sometimes the bigger explosion and then of course you have to keep in mind um what he has on his bot so if he has fuel tanks or batteries the explosion might be a lot bigger as well so let's see oh they've changed the hud 
The HUD looks completely and totally different from what it used to look like. It's this blue little thing up in the bottom left corner. I kind of like it in the middle, actually. I think it would be a better placement if they put it in the middle of the screen right here at the very top rather than on the left hand side but maybe they think that that got in the way so that might be why they're trying to do it in a different way uh, let's come over here to our weapons now you can spin those around with the uh the scroll wheel which is the way i like to do it but when you do that you also zoom in so you want to use like the f key uh it's the f and is it d no f and g okay so f and g key and of course you can change that so we want to change the direction so that it goes forwards and backwards so when we fire you get a, uh, a nice coverage of your enemy uh, or the area around your bot to kill the enemy i should say and the main reason for that is uh these enemies are pretty smart they will find out what your weak point is where you have the least amount of coverage of weapons and they will try to you know hide in that little butter zone and just wreck you so you want to make sure you have weapons going off in every direction or at the very least you have a lot of weapons on your bot that can track the enemy and cause them to uh, at least hit them in some way when they're speeding around you now you can see right here i have my little drill and it is actually drilling into the rock and if the rock was actually made out of anything that had resources, the resources would pop out in little tiny chunks. Here we go. We got our solar reactor. Place the solar reactor on the ground with the left mouse button to anchor it. Now, if you do that, if you place the solar reactor on the ground, it's going to give you the next piece to your tech. That is either a good thing or a bad thing based off of how big your bot is. Right now, you can see our bot's fairly small. One piece is all we have. We can take that and go to the next part of the tutorial, or we can put it down it's going to drop another piece. This is the repair bubble, which is really, really vital. I would very, very much suggest going ahead and getting this piece because as you can see, my bot is now getting fully repaired and you're going to want that. Some of the other pieces, such as uh, base pieces that are going to put down like receivers and things of that sort, you may not want to do that until you find the right area. One TerraTech stream is now live. Let's go ahead and close that down. That's a little uh, little bit of a different bubble. Now, you don't want to lose either one of these pieces. You could, of course, buy them again or find them again, but uh, you need them. You very much need them to get started because you're going to take a lot of damage really, really quickly. And you can see one of my pieces is getting damaged, so I'm going to move that out of the way. Let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, we're going to pick up whatever these guys dropped, which is just going to be the wills, really. Uh, wills, if you want them... Go ahead and save them sometimes, especially if you have double layers. You're, like The wheels aren't going to touch the ground if you put them on the block on the top. But you can hold on to them until you get some more blocks. Because occasionally you will destroy an enemy that has a lot of wheels, but no blocks. Vice versa, you may destroy an enemy that has a lot of blocks, but no wheels. So if you can hold on to the pieces you think you're going to need, that might save you in the future from having to uh, you know, go without wheels or maybe just not be able to pick up all the blocks that you want to pick up. I would highly suggest, though, take out some of these enemies when you have a chance. Now, none of these guys really have anything that I'm going for other than the wheels and the guns. And I do want a couple extra guns right now, so that's what I'm going after here. Uh, he actually has one extra block, which is going to work out perfect. Now, you see the explosion, as I have mentioned before. That explosion is not just there for, for looks. It is also there... Uh, for damage so if you're too close to that you're going to take damage from them exploding so make sure you don't get too close and you're good to go where's the weapon here it is yeah if you get too close it may not seem like a big deal right now when the bots are this size and the explosions are fairly small wait until the bots start getting a lot bigger and they start having batteries on them and fuel tanks on them and all sorts of of craziness then you're gonna just really wreck a lot of your base or you're going to go through a lot of energy we'll get into energy later on as we get a little bit more advanced now you can see this guy's kind of doing what we were doing which is putting a block in front of uh, where he had his cabs because he knew that's what you would have to get through first and that's exactly what happened we had to kind of break that off and now it's going to get repaired here so let's go ahead and put this here now sometimes when you don't even actually uh you know go into a fight your your pieces are damaged and the way that actually works a lot of the time is if your wheels are not too high up off the ground, you can see these wheels are pretty much the lowest ones in the game. You run into the fact that your bot actually takes damage as it goes over the terrain. And when that happens, if you're not repairing it on a regular basis, you might actually lose pieces just driving over stuff. Now, it doesn't happen too often with the GSO ones, and it almost never happens with the, uh, the Geocore ones. The Venture, on the other hand, are so fast and so close to the ground that a lot of the time, you're going to damage stuff. They, th those little blocks they are perfect for making uh jumps off of 
you know, hills and cliffs and all sorts of stuff. Now, we're going to go after this guy. There is actually a big wheel there, but I want to make sure... No, nope, that's going to that's gonna get blown up. Oh, that sucks. I wanted that block. All right, let's get a little closer while he's stuck. Now, if you see it pop off, you can pick that piece up. Ooh, and a radar over there. Okay, let's see. How do I want this guy to look? Let's put... Uh, Let's put some wheels or blocks in the back. The main reason for that is uh, just so that I can have some more storage for all the pieces we're getting that I don't really want in the fight. So we're going to put that stuff back there. Now you'll see right here we have some wheels. This wheel right here and then this wheel right next to it. Now this first wheel that we're looking at here on the right, this is the wheel that we originally got. This is the one that is on my bot that's vibrating in the background for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Uh, that is a little bit freaky, and there's no resources stuck underneath it, so I don't know why it's vibrating like that. Uh, but yeah, that's the, the very first wheel that you're going to get, the GSO Little Trekker. And then you get this wheel. This is the, the second wheel that most of you will find. It's the GSO Dirt Wheel. And if I take this wheel off and put this wheel on, you'll see it pops up just slightly more than the other wheel. Uh, there's our GSO Craven Radar. Okay, well, there's a wheel back here I definitely want to snag. So let me grab that. Uh, let me go ahead and put my my uh, little solar reactor down and the recharge repair bubble so that we can do that. Now I'm going to put the other big wheel in the front too. I would highly suggest, and of course it's going to be up to you how you want to design your own bot, but I would highly suggest that you put the big wheels, the biggest wheels you have in the front. And the main reason behind that is it seems like it helps your bot get around a whole lot more than putting them in the back. Putting them in the back is almost counterproductive because it raises your bot up a little bit higher in the back and your front wheels seem to go down a little bit more. So when you're trying to get over these hills, you actually end up staying and getting stuck more than you probably would have. So yeah, just kind of be a little bit careful with that. Let's uh, let's put this stuff in the back, actually. I think that's going to be a little bit safer. You can get attacked in the back, so it's not the safest, but I think we're going to be a little bit better with that. Watch out for that stuff. You're going to get... Uh, we got a little robber over here. Now, what does the little robber have? I've already taken him out once. There we go. Come on, Destrum. I think he's going to pop. Come on, pop. Yes, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. What am I losing? Dang it. We lost We lost at least one block there. And now, because it was like a major major section, I have, to, uh, <laughs> I have to rebuild it. Now, we did get a shield there, and I attached it, but it's not doing anything. Let me move this, see if I can attach it to that. Does it not want to attach? Really? It doesn't want to attach there. I wonder why. Maybe because there's a hill? Let's attach it to this. There we go. Okay, so they've actually improved the uh, the functionality of, you know, the, the base pieces. Like, a lot of the time, you could have it go straight into a wall, and there was no downside. Like, it would actually go into it and work perfectly fine as if there was no hill there or wall that it was intruding into. Now, I guess it can tell that there's, you know, land there. And it's like, no, you can't do that. This is against the rules uh, because it's kind of protected that way. I am going to... Let's see, where am I going to put those other two blocks? I kind of want to keep it small because we had been going with small bots. But I actually, the last playthrough, we didn't do any base uh, base bots. So I kind of want to do a little bit more of that. So I think that's what we're going to do first. We're going to turn this uh, GSO one into a base bot if we can. Let's go ahead and put some weapons here on the front. These are both the weapons we already had and a few extra ones off of that enemy if they're still around. Nope, it just looks like the, the three that I already had. And I don't think I need any more wills. Actually, I could use two more wills. One right there and one right there. Now, I will upgrade to the better ones as I can. Now, you see this second little bubble here is the shield bubble. That's not going to be active when I put it on my bot. Like, I'll put these things down real quick. And you'll see that it turns off. I'll put my repair bubble on there and it turned off as well. Because we have no function uh, sorts of um, energy coming into our bot. If we had a battery of some sort, we would be having the, uh, the repair bubble and the shield bubble protecting our bot as we drive around. So we're hoping we'll find some batteries here. In fact, I think that is the next objective right here is to find the battery. It used to be on earlier playthroughs of this game in different, you know, uh, updates that they have done. Finding the battery was one of the hardest things you could ever do. Uh, in some playthroughs, I just never found one. And it really makes it where you can't have some of the designs that we go with later on, which are just super, super equipped with uh, all sorts of, you know, crazy base stuff and very well protected because of all the pieces that it has. Now, how do you charge up a battery? Because if you get the battery and you put it on your bot... It's, oh, well, okay, it came fully charged, apparently. 
that is uh, that is different as you can see right there on the side it is draining the energy out of that now if you want to charge it up yourself you're going to have to use some tor some type of uh, energy source such as a generator that takes resources or a solar reactor that doesn't take any resources whatsoever it just takes daytime and there is a daytime and nighttime cycle so you can see right here now the bars are going up so it's charging that battery you can charge as many batteries as you want at one time it only has so much energy that it creates so you may need more than one solar reactor if you're charging a whole lot of them uh, but yeah, it's it's really not that big of a deal. Like you just may have to take a little bit longer. It's only once you get into really big, massive bots with tons and tons of batteries that you start having to sit there for long periods of time that you may want to you know adjust that and put a whole bunch of solar reactors down and things of that sort. There's there's other things you can do with it. Now we do have a trader troll here that we're gonna have to destroy, and he's fairly large. So let's uh, let's hope we can get him. Now he doesn't have a repair bubble, and he doesn't have a shield bubble on his bot. Now I am backing up. And the main reason behind that is I don't want to destroy the pieces that are detached. Like, this piece is getting destroyed because I just kept sitting there firing at it. And this guy, what are you doing? I guess he's trying to look for the the weak spot on my bot trying to get behind me. There we go. He's stuck. Now, he can always go into build mode. If you get too close, that's exactly what he's going to do. His, oh, there we go. You saw the, uh, the explosion was a different color. And that's because it was a battery that was exploding. So sometimes when you destroy a bot and you're like, oh, I didn't get to see what was on him. If you see a green explosion, that will give you a little hint of what was actually there and what wasn't. Um, let's go ahead and put that back here. Instantly got repaired. We do have some big wheels here. So let's go ahead and put those here on the back. As you can see, you don't necessarily have to have an even uh, design on both sides. I like doing that mainly just because I like to keep things as you know symmetrical as possible. I know a lot of you guys out there are the exact same way. In fact, if I build something that's not so much uh, symmetrical, you guys uh, tend to get a little bit upset on that one. And I can't really blame you all that much. So we got another bubble here. This is a repair bubble. If you put it down, you're going to see it creates another bubble, but in a different spot. So as you get bigger and bigger bots, you may need to have multiple areas uh, for these bubbles. You may need to put one in the front and one in the very back of your bot and so on and so forth. Just kind of take that into account when you do it that way. Let's go ahead and put that here. I guess I'll put this here in the back somewhere. Uh, in fact, I don't need to keep... Uh, I guess we can keep that there. It's protected by the weapon. I just didn't want it to get destroyed by putting it up too high. Let's go ahead and put that back on. We'll put this here in the back. I do like to put the heavy stuff in the back as much as possible, just so the front of my bot is as light as it possibly can be. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to replace some of these, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, these other wheels are still worth a little bit of money. Now, I will come back and pick most of this stuff up in a minute, uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and attach this stuff right here we do got another weapon let's see can we use that we can do that we can go ahead oh he's gonna die he's gonna die he was getting you know healed up by my own little thing but there he goes he's gonna blow come on oh yeah oh my god look at that gso license upgrade 2 congratulations gso has upgraded your license to grade 2 the following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station or craft it with the gso fabricator there are other new blocks to discover out there too so you'll see the five blocks we get here the gso2 block uh the the wheels that kind of clip on from underneath and there's one right there on the screen right there behind me it's a gso riser wheel we got the little strip of light which is kind of cool it's right here on the screen as well the gso buzz strip light uh, we also have the gso uh, drill i think that's called the mini drill right gso mini drill no rock drill and then we have the where is it at? Is it on here too? They give me one? Uh, they didn't. They give me a GSO tractor pad right here, which only holds three resources at once, but it's pretty good. It's, it's what you're going to want to use for the time being. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to sit here and uh, make a new bot with. I think I'm going to do that... Uh, uh, no, we'll keep going. I don't want to. I don't want to cut this too short because we really haven't been recording that long. So let's go ahead and attach this stuff on here. Again, I'm going to keep this little area here in the back, kind of, um, kind of hollow because I have plans for what I want to do with that. Let's go ahead and change the direction. As you can see, it changes the direction in many ways. That little strip of white is kind of letting you know that it's also changing it left and right and up and down all at the exact same time. Let's also change this other side. Now I don't like going too far off to the side because it's gonna help. It's gonna hamper 
your ability to get over heals. But you also see these wheels right here. If we go into build mode and I attach them, uh, not like that, obviously, but you want to attach them under here. If you had two of them, now it, ra it raises your, your vehicle up a little bit higher off the ground. So now you have all this space right here underneath it two layers basically so if you're running over resources you're not going to get stuck that much but we only have two of those wheels uh to go with and you kind of need four at the very least preferably more so we're not going to do that let's see what other blocks do we have we have one two three four five six more blocks to kind of uh go with i think we are going to we are going to um yeah i think i know what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna use this space for more wheels uh, that way I can cover all these wheels up eventually down the road. And when I do that, what that's going to do is give this uh, bot here on the bottom more space for uh, the support. Each and every wheel you put down holds a certain amount of weight. And because we're putting down so many wheels all within a certain area, it's going to be able to hold a lot more weight per square inch than another bot of its size or equal to its size. So let's go ahead and keep that the way it is. Wow, that's, that's kind of a unique design right there. Uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do that, but, you know, I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, what about these wheels? We're going to move these off to the side. And why this is doing all the stuff that it's doing, we're going to charge up our battery so we can start repairing all this stuff. Now, remember, just because you have it charged up and you're ready to go, if you haven't repaired yet, you may run into the problem of the fact that it's, it's going to use a lot of energy when it first starts to repair. So you want to make sure everything is as good as it can possibly be before you're ready to go. Now, if I put a, uh, a gun here and I want to put one behind it, I need to go ahead and put a block so it raises up slightly. That way you can actually fire over it. As you can see right here, both the guns are firing. If I remove this block and I put it like right there behind this other one here in the middle, when I fire, this one here in the back does nothing. So you want to make sure it has a clear line of sight. You can also put some here on the side uh, as long as there's not a wheel in the way and if you get some stud lasers you can put those in the front but uh, that's a another lesson for another time let's go ahead and put some uh i don't really like lights no we're not gonna go with lights this time not yet let's see repair bubble man they're giving me a lot of repairables i don't need this many repairables uh should we put that there oh, dang it i don't want to put these anywhere really but i'm gonna take them because they're valuable gso shield yeah we do want the shield i guess let's put that here I really, I don't know where to put those guys. I really don't. Let's go ahead and put a thing on there so it can start repairing up. We got some weapons over here. Let's put a weapon right there and a weapon right there. And now if you look at it, we got a fairly decent amount of firepower right here in the center. Now that does leave our backside very vulnerable, but I, I think we can get away with it. Let's see. We're going to, we're going to turn these another direction that way just so they're not taking up as much space as uh, they would otherwise. And we're going to do the same thing right there until we can find a better spot, something something a little bit more permanent. Now, these wheels here on the back that I keep putting down, the main reason I put those things down is, one, you don't get very many of them, to be honest, in the game all that often. Uh, they, they're not really that great, but you really don't find too many of them. And they do kind of help you out. They, they help on your turning so that you can make sharper turns than you would otherwise be able to do uh, we're gonna put that right there let's go ahead and put all our stuff on and we're gonna go ahead and take off right there we're gonna leave the rest of the stuff there i don't want really any of the drills it just kind of weighs you down and the light strips i guess we'll take one light strip that way when it goes dark you'll be able to see what it actually does in fact we'll take this as well because this is gonna be the very first thing we sell let's come over here purchase a collector to begin harvesting so that's what it wants you to do we're gonna go ahead and sell that you see my money is now down on the very bottom. The uh, BBs, the block bucks, right click on the corner terminals of the trading stations to purchase. I got 56 for that little thing. What about these wheels? Since I'm not going to use them anytime soon, I can rebuy them. Let's go ahead and sell them so I don't take up space on my bot. We're also going to go ahead and sell one of these uh, radar units. And you'll see the different prices you're going to get for some of these different weapons or these different items. Uh, let's see. We don't need as many of these, uh, these things on here. GSO, that's fine. Let's go ahead and sell this one. We don't need that. Let's see. What do we got here? Shield. We got shield and repair. Yeah. Um, let's move that there. We'll move this back. And we'll move this one back as well. Let's put that there. And that one there. 
Okay, so the whole thing is completely covered. Even these wheels here on the side are covered fairly decently. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now when we want to charge up, we can remove these. Uh, no, the wheel's still going to come off. Dang it. Um, yeah, we'll leave that there. I don't want to take this one off because it's not connected to anything underneath it. And all that stuff will pop off. So let's go ahead and buy... A, uh, yeah, it's easy to get distracted in this game. There's always so much to do. Uh, let's see. This is everything that you can possibly have. You have different tabs. You can click on the GSO one, and you can see just the stuff for sale in the GSO. And if you want to narrow the search down even more, you can use these left ones to say, I just want the control blocks, which is just like my cabs, my AI modules. I just want standard blocks, which is just like building materials, armor, and things of that sort. You got wheels that you can go through. We almost have all the wheels already. We just don't have the hub wheel, which is fairly decent. I actually kind of like the hub wheel. Weapons, mm, there's, there's a lot of weapons out there. Yeah, the, the GSO three pound cannon, I never use it, but it's, you know, it's there. The GSO megaton cannon is one of the best weapons in the game. It will destroy anything, pretty much. It, it even goes through shields for the most part because it explodes on impact with a really, really just massive destruction. So let's go ahead and buy one of these. They're 68 a piece. We're going to go ahead and get two just because we got a little bit of cash. I'm going to put those, I'm going to have to remove this wheel. Let's, let's just sell these wheels. I don't really need them right now. We'll buy more down the road. So let's go ahead and put this here, right there in the middle. We'll go ahead and put this one right here in the middle as well. Let's see, how much are the blocks? I kind of hate purchasing. What, 24? Oh, we got the money for it. Let me just go ahead and do that. Let me move this. We'll purchase one block for this side. Put on a wheel. Not nah, wrong way. There we go. And now I can remove this battery and charge it up real quick, and I'm not have to worry about any of those those little issues. Now, if you're you know penny pinching and you don't want to spend any money, you don't have to. That's always something you can decide to do for yourself. Now, if you look over, you can see the sun is going down. The very first night is coming. It's approaching, and it's approaching pretty quickly. So I'm gonna leave this over here. I don't really need that on right now. I don't need to be draining my power for no reason. We're gonna come over here, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to collect a few resources. Now, you can see these things are popping off of them. If you shoot them, they will get destroyed. So make sure you're a little bit more careful with them if it's valuable. Now, all you got to do is kind of get close to it. And each one of those will pick up three. Now, there's five objects there. And so I have a room for one more. If I drive close to this little thing, I can drop them off. And it will automatically pick them up and sell those pieces. Now, those are unrefined ore. Refined ore is going to sell for even higher prices. A refined ore made into something will sell for even higher prices. Some items sell for a lot of money, and they don't really require all that much in the way of um, of really putting things together. Like You don't need a lot of rare resources to do it. You just got to find out what those pieces are. And there's been a few... Uh, I guess you could say hacks or, or errors in the game where they made an object that was made or that was worth more as base components battery used to be one of them you could take the battery you could recycle it through the recycling unit and you'd actually be able to make uh, more money off of the pieces than you would the whole p the whole thing point of interest gso license um no, we're not going to go over there just yet i thought it wanted me to actually harvest some things but it's not asking for that i don't want to leave without my <laughs> without my shields uh, my batteries and everything else so we're going to go ahead and go back we're going to end the episode there and on the next one we're going to continue with this because i do like the way the new uh, system is kind of set up i'm not really sure about the big bucks being on the bottom that's that's kind of a weird place for it not like horrible but i don't look there as much as i do on the top so i kind of would prefer it to be like right up here maybe right over here or even next to the the radar but i'm so used to the radar being up here that I almost never even see it down here. I'm just going to be have to, you know, something I'm going to get used to uh, down the road, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and remove this off to the side. And guys, I do want to thank you again for watching. As always, I'm AC Gamer, and we will definitely catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series 
in the long run. So when you guys leave comments down, it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future. And here are a few of them right here. I kind of picked out a few of different genres. We will be doing spotlights for other YouTubers in the future. So if you uh, want to get a little shout out, definitely let me know. If you group with me, uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.